hours spent looking for answers turning the pages through all your chapters hoping to find your place somewhere so bright someone to love you somewhere to run you can't escape to and know that you are safe yeah you have found your place Sandy, how's Tom? Hi, Mary. Ah, oh, he's great, thanks. Are you thinking of a trip to Bali? Mm -hmm. Dreaming about it, maybe. Well, go in the spring before the high season starts. It's less crowded and the weather is gorgeous. Wow. Have you been? No, but I have read that book from cover to cover, so it's almost like I've been there. And while you're in the area, you know, Australia is not that far away and it's absolutely beautiful. Be ashamed to miss it. You've been to Australia? No. Another great book. Okay, well, good to know. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything. Okay, will do. Thanks. <laughs> hey, I just poured that for myself. Mary, don't you remember anything Mom and Dad taught us about sharing? Wait a second. Weren't you supposed to have study group today? I did. We quizzed each other while we were shooting hoops. Hoops? Basketball. Tyler, I love that you're going to business school. I do, but you need to take it seriously. I know. I am. Okay, well, dribbling hoops doesn't sound like seriously. Dribbling hoops? Wow, you really are a sports nut, aren't you? Just check the year-end reports. I did. They are not bad. Not bad? Mary, the first thing they teach us in business school is numbers in red are not good. It's a slow time. It'll pick up. Have you talked to Mom and Dad? No. And you're not going to either, because the store is ours, they're retired, and this red stuff, it's our problem now. Well, then we really need to talk about updating the store. We have a website. We have a Facebook page. So we're competitive with 10 years ago. Tyler, on the same page, has been here for almost 40 years because we're traditional. This is a place where people can come in and pick up a book and have a conversation about it with another human being. If there was another human being here, that is. Look, this is a bookstore. It's not a web, arcade, digital, virtual, cyber hacking zone. You have no idea what you're saying, do you? No, I, I don't. The point is, we haven't survived for almost 40 years by trying to be something that we're not. We've done it by being who we are. Then why are you meeting with Janet and Levy? Because we went to college together. And she runs a big PR firm. All right, fine. She offered to help out with the 40th anniversary party. Wow, she must be a really big deal if you're going all the way downtown. I mean, that is a big adventure for you. Is this the part where you're taking things more seriously? Oh, man, he did it again. Who did what? Adam Claiborne. Who? The Denver Royals hockey player. He got into it with a ref last night and got booted from the game. Hockey. That's the one where you throw the old pigskin down the field, yes? Sometimes I can't tell if you're joking. I just don't care about some guy in cleats getting kicked on out of skates. the game. Hockey? He's played on skates. I know what hockey is. Do you? Go away. Hmm. Monster, isn't it? It's never too early for games that amuse four-year-olds. Or the grown-ups who act like them. It is too early for a lecture, though. Maybe you should have slept at your place instead of on my couch. Press was camped out of my place downtown. I wasn't in the mood. Yeah, I know. Erica keeps calling your phone, and when you don't pick up, she calls mine over and over and over again. Did you tell her I was here? No, but I'm pretty sure she knows. She's got powers or something. Chuck, she's the president of a hockey team. She's not a wizard. And she's also really mad at you. Erica is always mad at me. Yeah, because you keep causing trouble and costing us games. No. 
That's because we dated years ago, and she still hasn't gotten over the fact that I broke up with her. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the losing the game part. Adam, you've been ejected from three games this season. What happened to you? Oh, when we were on the team in Texas, we were the wild ones. Well, I got traded to Denver, I met Sarah, got married, and had a kid. I grew up. Maybe you should try it. What? I lose my childlike sense of wonder? It's so quiet out here in the suburbs. Why don't you move back downtown? Because I am happy. Again, maybe you should try it. Look, I'm the one who had to convince Erica to bring you here because I promised her that you have changed. This is why you got kicked off the Texas team, Seattle and New Jersey. New Jersey was not my fault. The guy on the other team started. Well, according to you, it's always the other guy. If Erica cuts you from the team... Erica's not gonna cut me. Okay. Answer the phone, then. I will. After I get some air and a coffee. Coffee. Okay, well, that's mine. I'll take whatever you've got. Except none of that weird flavored stuff. If I wanted hazelnuts in my coffee, I'd go to wherever hazelnuts are from. Oh, well, now that is interesting. You know, they originally thought that they were from Damascus, but now evidence points to Scotland almost 9,000 years ago. Can I just get my coffee? Uh, we don't have coffee. Oh, okay, I get it. I gotta buy a book first in order to get a cup of coffee? No, you have to buy a book because it's a bookstore. Look, fine. Here. Quilting. You got a problem with that? Nope. That'll be 1995. Now can I get my coffee? We don't have coffee. This is a bookstore. All bookstores have coffee. No, they don't. This one does. Then why don't I just buy that book? Because you need a hobby? No, I need a coffee. Yeah, we're well, right back where we started. I want my money back. Sorry. You don't accept returns? People read books and then they bring them back and expect a refund. Yeah, but I just bought that 30 seconds ago. Store policy, no exceptions. Look, I just... <sighs> Great. You know what? Never mind. I'll go find a real bookstore somewhere. Sir? Aren't you forgetting something? We know everyone here, but for the record, I'm Tyler, this is my sister Mary, and we're here for Book Chat. Mary, what are we chatting about today? The Great Gatsby by a Scott Fitzgerald, one of my favorite books. You say that every week. <laughs> How am I supposed to choose? There are too many good books. I mean, the whole world is here. Well, why don't we get started? Now, when I first read The Great Gatsby, I was struck by Fitzgerald's color imagery. He basically talks right about how he looks specifically the colors that he uses. I mean, we can just go right from there. Thank you enough for agreeing to help me out. Stop. You helped me through my finals in college, so I owe you a lot more than some free PR advice. 
Paris. I've always wanted to go. You were always talking about the places that you read about you were gonna go and visit. Yeah. What have you knocked off your list? Uh, well, you know, I, uh, I did go a few places after college, but then I just got so busy helping out my folks with the store and everything. And now you run it. Mm. It's great. It's not much, but... but... That's why you came to me. So let's talk ideas. I had my staff do some research, and where I would love to start is getting on the same page, more integrated into the community. Uh, well, we've been there almost 40 years, so we're kind of a fixture. Sure, but these days, it's a lot more than just longevity. You need to connect with people. How? Well, your neighborhood has a kids hockey league, you could sponsor a team, or we could do more advertising at nearby businesses. Oh, and the 40th anniversary, you need to do a big party for that. Maybe a winter festival kind of thing. Get the whole neighborhood to come out and celebrate. Um, all of these things take money. You know the old saying, you need to spend money to make money. Well, you have to have the money to spend the money to... What I'm trying to say is we would love to do things like this, but... Things are that tight, huh? It's a slow time, but it's gonna pick up. Mary, nobody comes to see me when things are going great. They come to see me when things are broken. I'm a fixer. I can fix this. How? Truth? I have no idea. But I am convinced that the right idea will present itself, and when it does, we're gonna be ready. Are you with me? I am. Great. Did you forget how to answer your phone? Erica, I... Oh, no, 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 Adam. This is the part where I talk and you listen. It reminds me of when we dated. Ten game suspension. Come on. Th this is the third time you've been kicked off the ice this season. This last time cost us the game. The ref completely missed Jack being boarded. It's like he was blind. It's not your job to tell the ref what he missed. It's your job to stay out of trouble and win games. I'm sorry, okay? No, Adam, it's not okay. The owner of the team is- Is your father. Talk to him. I did talk to him. He's the one who talked me out of cutting you. Are you sure there's not some lingering, you know, animosity over me breaking up with you? First of all, I broke up with you. No, you didn't. And second of all, that was five years ago, and I promise you I am over it. Okay. Well, what would you have to be over it about if you broke up with me? I do not like being this tense person. I really don't, but you just bring it out in me. In fact, you know what? From this point forward, I'm going to add one game to your suspension for everything you say that makes me mad. I figured about 10 minutes while well, you're going to be out for the rest of the season. Okay, okay, just... Tell me what I have to do to fix this. I'm glad you asked. Call our PR person. While you're suspended, you are going to work with her to repair your image. There's nothing wrong with my image. 11 games. For what? Adam, we strive to maintain a positive image with the community and our fans. This is our image. This is yours. OK. Okay, I'll call Janet Dunleavy tomorrow. Today. And please just do whatever she says. Don't argue with her. Don't think you have better ideas than her. Basically, just don't be you. Got it. But just one more thing. I broke up with you. 12 games. Totally worth it. So you guys are thinking about going on a cruise this summer? Well... Well, your mother's thinking about it. I'm thinking about whether or not I want to think about it. Sweetheart, we are retired now. This is exactly the kind of adventure we should be having. Adventure? It's a Caribbean cruise. Oh. It's all-you-can-eat buffets. It's not wrestling crocodiles in the Amazon. I just think that we should take advantage of the fact that we do not have to worry about the store anymore. Mary and Tyler have got it all under control. Yeah, so how is the business? Paul. Let's find out. Don't worry. <laughs> Tyler, how's school, honey? Hmm. Well, I'm having a little problem. Oh? Well, what is it? There's this one class, and it's just not going well. Oh. It's like a, a, a balance sheet that keeps coming up red. 
Oh, well, what is it about this class that's got you stumped? I've done all my readings for it, obsessively, but um, I feel like I'm falling behind. Can't keep up. Oh, well, have you asked for any help? Not really. That's not true. He, well, you've gone to advisors. You just haven't figured out exactly what to do yet. Mm. Hmm. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do, kiddo. Mm -hmm. well, your mother's right, Tyler. I mean, if you've got these advisors giving you advice, you should listen to it. Mm -hmm. Even if it means doing something outside of your comfort zone. Hmm. Wait. Like going on a cruise? <laughs> <laughs> and that, right there, kids, that is why I married your mother. <laughs> oh, I'll wine. take some wine, please. Yeah, me too. principal to put me in detention. It's not that bad. It's what I tried to tell Erica. Oh, don't get me wrong. It's bad. But we can repair this. We just need to find a way to make people like you. <laughs> people like me. Oh, no. They don't. I had my team do a flash poll last night after Erica called me, and while the results, they weren't good. Telemarketers have higher likability than you do. That's disturbing. But the good news is that they want to like you. They love the idea of a second chance, and they are open to giving you one. How? Well, one strategy I've used in the past is sort of like a buddy system. We pair you with a respected member of the community, someone who can balance things out. According to this, Mold has a higher score than I do. Who would want to be paired with me? You'd be surprised. We get you involved in local activities, maybe do some volunteer work. It's good PR for both you and whoever we pair you up with. Did you have someone in mind? Not yet, but... Sorry, hold on. Hi. Send her in. Mary. Hi. I'm so sorry to come by unannounced. I just wanted to be very clear that I'm so ready to do whatever it takes to make this work. Excellent, because I know just what to do. I'm going to pair you with one of my other clients, and you are both going to solve each other's problems. Well, that's wonderful. Who? Cool. Mary Campbell, Adam Claiborne. You. You. Shall we get started? No! The hockey team will pay for everything. This way, we can put together a big to-do for the fourth anniversary of the store, and he can host it or sign jerseys or something. We can sponsor a junior hockey team. You can coach it. Q and Q Kids, this is the kind of immediate boost of goodwill that you need in order to get back on the team. Because when it works, when we take an uncouth hockey player and turn him into a cultured book lover who helps the community, you are going to get the credit for that. You can be the hero that rescues the beloved neighborhood institution. It's like you're Superman, and she's your Lois Lane. It's like you're Henry Higgins to his Eliza Doolittle. It's a second chance you need to reinvent the bookstore. Besides, if things are as bad as you say they are, you need a fresh start. You need to do something big to save the bookstore. You need a new beginning. This could be your last chance to save your career. Give it a chance. Good morning. Hi, Janet Dunleavy. Hi, I'm Mary's brother Tyler, and you are Adam Claiborne. I'm a huge fan. I can see that. Wait, Mary, Tyler. <laughs> Got more to that What's story. What's our mother's favorite show? Could be worse. Could be called Joni and Chachi. Why don't we get started? So, first off, great news. I got a permit to do a Winterfest party out in front of the bookstore for the 40th anniversary, which is our big chance to reach a lot of people at once. It's in four weeks. Four weeks? Is that enough time to get everything ready? Mm-hmm. That's why we're here. We can brainstorm ideas. We need a big one. A showcase idea. Anybody? 
How about a food truck? Maybe one that serves coffee. How's the quilt coming? I'm just saying, I've never seen a book so that didn't have coffee. Visit a lot of them, do you? You don't know me. What was the last book you read? Oh, and Sports Illustrated? Not a book. Okay, why don't we put a pin in that? How about we talk about the junior hockey team we're gonna sponsor? We'll get a photographer to come out and get Adam coaching the kids and at the game. Oh, he he's gonna coach kids. Hey, I'm great with kids. Yes, because you are one. You know, I'm here to help you. You need me more than I need you. What was that? I said you need me Oh, I me couldn't more. hear you over the racket all your customers are making. Mm -hmm. I think this is going great. Mm -hmm. You don't understand. She's impossible. Oh, I understand impossible, Adam. <laughs> you mean me? No. She's worse. She thinks she knows everything. She always has to be right. So you two have a lot in common. Why are you here? Moral support. You two are enjoying this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. This is a terrible idea. Mary, this is exactly the kind of PR stunt the bookstore needs, OK? It's going to be amazing. We can still back out. I'm putting up posters. We haven't finished yet. Not too late. Sorry. No backing out now. I'll just put them back up. <laughs> Yes, we are. We are just waiting for your coach. Adam Claiborne, right? Right. He's tough. Mm -hmm. It's cool how he argues with the refs. No, it, it isn't. <sighs> You're late. Sorry, I'm not used to Responsibility? Mornings. Wow, it's really you. I'm Coach Adam. What's your name? Noah. Nice to meet you, Noah. Would you mind telling Noah that getting into trouble isn't cool? Absolutely not. I mean, although... What are you doing? Well, I was just going to say that sometimes when a ref makes a really bad call, you can't just say nothing. For instance, this one time in Albuquerque, we... No! You are not allowed to tell a 12-year-old about that one time in Albuquerque. You don't even know what happened. If you were involved, it could not have been good. Now, listen, for some reason that is totally beyond my comprehension, you are a role model to these kids, so be a good one. Now, repeat after me. Trouble. Not cool. Trouble, not cool. He's right. So, you can tell your friends that, and uh, we'll be over in a second, okay? Right. It's gonna be a disaster. Okay. No matter what we might think of each other, I think we can both agree that the most important thing here is the team, and making sure they have a good time. So, how about we call a truce until after practice? Agreed. Hey, kids, let's get up. All right. All right. I'm Adam Claiborne, and I'm going to be your coach. And I am Mary Campbell. I am sponsoring the team. Well, actually, uh, on the same page, yes. OK, who plays what position? Shouldn't you ask them to introduce themselves first? That's what I was just doing. No, you asked them what they do on the team. You didn't ask them anything about themselves, like what their names are, or their interests, or what they want to be when they grow up, or their favorite book. I like to start there. This is a hockey team. Yes, so what are you going to do? Are you just going to call them by their playing places? <laughs> playing places? Yes. So this delightful young human would be the... Please, I would love to hear you list off the playing places of a hockey team. The... Goal... Goalie! Goalie. Who's my goalie? Yes, you are. There you are, coming for it, up top. <clears throat> Name another. I think I made my point. I think you made mine. Shall we? OK, kids, center ice. Finish shutting everything down. You up to anything tonight? You want to come for dinner with me and my friends? Uh, you know, I think I'm just gonna stay in and read. What are you reading? Weathering Heights. 
I've read it so many times. It just keeps getting better. Well, don't say too late. Mm -hmm. Oh, and if you have any questions about hockey, you can just ask me. Questions? Noah. What happened in Albuquerque? Oh, later. Uh, later. Okay. All right, we're gonna crush it out there, right? Yeah! Respectfully, right? Yes, because hockey has a rich history. In fact, it dates back to 1300 when a You're certain... You're kidding me, right? I think they could use a little bit of historical context. I mean, just because Noah is the center forward and Jesse is right defense, and they're both working to get the puck into the crease, I don't think that they need to be barbarians about it. Oh, someone read a book about hockey. Don't know what makes you think that. Because the other day, all you knew was goalie. Didn't want to show off. Oh, look, I think it's cute, but I want you to stick to the books and let me deal with the important things. You know, like winning. Winning isn't everything. Yes, it is. That's why it's a competitive sport. If there wasn't a winner, it would just be people out there hitting a piece of rubber with a stick. Did you know that the original hockey pucks were made of wood? Stop it. On the same page! It's a cardinal rule of defense. But we want the puck. Well, yes, we do, but... Yeah. Oh, come on. You can't give him a penalty for that. What happened? We got a penalty. It's totally bogus. Hey, ref, there's no way you call that. I don't think you should be doing that. Okay. It's my team. I'm going to handle it. Handle what? You don't even know what's going on. That's not the point. Hey, ref, ref, let him play, ref. No. Where'd you get your whistle? A Cracker Jack box? You should not be talking to him like that. He's wearing a shirt. Not exactly what I had in mind. <sighs> I do look bonkers. What about me? I need good press, not more bad. Guys, relax. We can fix this. I hope so, because my entire life is in your hands right now. Mine too? See? There. Now you have something in common. Mm. Truce. For real this time. Truce. Wonderful. Things are looking up already. Now, we have three weeks into the winter anniversary party, and we still need that showcase idea. How do I fit into this anniversary party? Master of ceremonies, signing autographs, kissing babies, whatever it takes. We're gonna do a trial run at a book fair this weekend. Aren't book fairs expensive to enter? Not this one. The school board's staging it to promote reading. Oh. Besides, the hockey team will cover any expenses. You've got a booth right up front. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. You're welcome. But since there's nothing to host, per se, we need a good reason for Adam to be there. Mm. We could bring a bunch of books about hockey. Great idea. Mary, do you know any good books on hockey? Yeah, Mary. Do you? You and Dad had the store for almost 40 years without a problem, and we've had it less than a year, and it's it's got problems. How do you worry too much? I have to. I just don't know how to manage the store and babysit this Adam at the same time. Tyler said he's really nice. He's not. He is reckless. He's immature. He's rude. Why are you smiling like that? Oh. Shakespeare. Just a little quote about. The lady doth protest too much. No. Oh, no. 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 Mm -hmm. Not even a little bit. What is a, it's a truck. I know what a truck is. Why is it in front of my store with my sign on it? Oh, you must be Mary. Adam said you might be a little high strung. What? <laughs> Listen, whatever this is costing, I cannot afford it. No, Adam took care of it. Yeah. Now, are you opening soon? Because I got about three people waiting to get a book in their free cup, so. for helping me get set up for the book. I'm suspended, remember? I didn't have anything better to do tonight. Thank you also for the coffee truck. 
That was very nice, and we actually sold a lot of books. Really? Yes, it was a good idea. Maybe a showcase idea. Don't push it. You know, if I don't get back on the team, I can always help you run this place. <laughs> what are you going to do when you're done with hockey? I don't know. I haven't thought about it. How can you not think about the future, not make a plan? Yeah, I'm more of a live-in-the-moment kind of guy. But without a plan, you're just wandering. Some of the world's greatest discoveries were made by people who were just wandering. Really? Mm -hmm. Name one. Chocolate chip cookie. What? Some chef was trying to make chocolate cookies and didn't have the right ingredients, so she put chocolate chunks into the batter, thinking it would mix in. It didn't, and that became the chocolate chip cookie. That can't be true. It's true. Surely I would have heard something about it. Mm -hmm. Wakefield in her kitchen, 1938. Well, I'll be darned. How did you know that? I read things other than Sports Illustrated. What's your favorite book? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Nobody's ever asked me that. I mean, surely there was some book that made an impression on you at some point? The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Really? I read it when I was a kid. Hadn't thought about it since. What did you like about it? Him and Huck Finn were always out exploring and getting into trouble, and I always, I just like the idea of it. It's a great book. It's one of my favorites, too. Although the book chat audience says that I have too many favorites. That doesn't surprise me. We're reading War of the Worlds next. Oh, they turned that Tom Cruise movie into a novel? I'm kidding. Anyway, here, in case you'd like to join us. You want to hear what I have to say about a book? I want to hear what anyone has to say about a book. I don't know if I'll have time. Right. I still have a couple chapters of that quilting book to go, and I have to see how it ends. I know a couple fans here. Adam, as on prize. Sorry, ladies. Duty calls. Thank you. Thank you. Great. What? They were fans. Please. <laughs> fans. They were groupies. Why? Because they were pretty? Pretty women can't be hockey fans? I didn't say that. I just don't think that you would be paying so much attention to them if they weren't pretty. That's not true. All people who love hockey are seen equally in my book. Do you even believe the things that come out of your mouth? <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. I am. And I don't know what it is about him, but he is just so maddening and he just pushes my buttons. It's not that bad. Oh, good. Oh, don't get me wrong. It's bad. May I see the article? I think it's best that you don't. Just the headline? Just something like, Mary and Adam at it again. Well, you should talk to him. I have. And? And now I'm talking to you. Me? Yes, you. We are going to try this again tomorrow at another event that I've set up. And I have some ground rules for the both of you. But he's clearly... Both the... of you. Okay, so what are we here to do? Donate books to the library. And what are we not here to do? Argue. Or? Use our outside voices. Or? Do anything that might embarrass us and by extension you. Very good. Are you guys ready? Mm. Here we go. Smiles. Yeah. Car repair. What's wrong with car repair? Exactly literature. You're such a snob. I'm not a snob. You think that just because you read everything, you're so much smarter and better than everyone. You think that just because I read anything that I'm a snob, this is your bias. Well, your bias is that you think that people who play hockey are out of control crazy. Well, nope, I don't think that about everyone who plays hockey. You're the one who keeps getting kicked out of games. Why do you get into so many fights anyway? 
I don't go out and randomly start arguing with people. What, so he started it as your defense? Kind of, yeah. The thing with the ref the last game, someone on the other team boarded a guy on my team. Boarded? Just... Pushed him into a wall excessively. The ref didn't see it. So I went to tell him, and things kind of escalated from there. So you were defending your teammate? Yeah, you can do what you want to me. I don't care. I can take it. But you don't mess with my teammates or people I care about. It's rather nice. I have my moments. And you might be right. About what? I can be a bit defensive around really smart people. I'm not that smart. No, oh, I wasn't talking about you. Hi, Adam. Hi, Miss Campbell. Oh, uh, it's so nice to see you here. Mom brings me every week. That's wonderful. By the way, she thinks it's you guys' fault that we lost the tournament. Well, she probably has a point. Just remember, Noah. Winning, it's not everything. Adam said when he was the best. Yeah, you? I don't know if I use those exact words. You said only losers. Okay, Noah, it's so good to see you. Tell your mom I'll pay for therapy. Kids love me. Mm. Parents. <laughs> You've got to make them retract this. Why? Because we are not an item. It doesn't say that you are. It asks a question which allows them to get away with just about anything. Yes, but I do not want people thinking this about us. It's about me. The important thing is that they are thinking of you. She's right. I mean, look at all these customers. We've had more people in the store today than we've had in the past months combined. Yes, but most of them aren't buying anything. They just want to know if I'm dating Adam. And, like, what's his favorite color, which is green. Why do I know this? Mary, you just have to believe in the plan. Yeah. I'm looking for another good thing to put the two of you in. But in the meantime, we're working on the big anniversary party. That'll really be what turns things around. Right. OK, I have to go. Call you later. Thanks, Janet. Very proud of you, you know? Me? Why? You're trying new things, opening up to new ideas. You're excited about the possibilities of what could. What do you want? <clears throat> I want to record tonight's book chat as a podcast. No. Mm -mm. You know I don't like talking in front of a lot of people. It's not like you're going to see them. And besides, I'll edit out the parts where you embarrass our family and bring about the ruination of the store. Hey, got your message. What's up? Have you heard from Adam? He was doing that library thing today, and I was expecting some sort of disaster. No, it went fine, actually. In fact, did you see this? Yeah. OK, I can live with that. No, oh, that's good. Doesn't bother you? Why would it bother me? Well, because you and Adam were. I broke up with him. OK. Bother me. That's ridiculous. Hi, everyone. Welcome to On the Same Page Book Chat. We're recording a podcast today, so if you want to say something, use a microphone. OK? OK. Mary, over to you. OK. Uh, what book are we doing this week? Uh, War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. I'm sorry, I'm late. Oh, thank you. Uh, Mary, you were saying? Yes. War, War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells, often associated with the 1938 radio drama of the same name by Orson Welles. Oh, and also, and, and, and say your name. Adam Claiborne? Of the Denver Royals. <laughs> and I was going to mention the Tom Cruise movie. I, I love that movie. Right? Uh, Adam, what did you think of the book? I thought it was great. Good, good, but uh, what did you think about the themes? What was H.G. Wells commenting on? Uh, alien invasions are bad. <laughs> <laughs> OK, that's a good point. But what about the issues of colonialism? I mean, the British Empire was making big moves at that time. Fine, but sometimes an alien is just an alien. And sometimes an alien is the king of England. Are you saying we shouldn't comment on the deeper themes in novels? No, I'm not saying that, but 
you also don't want to overthink things. This story is about two sides in a battle for Earth. It's like an intergalactic hockey game. But it's also about the battle for the survival of the human race. I mean, these aliens are using heat rays to decimate entire towns. Now, I've read a lot of books about hockey, and frankly, I don't see an equivalent. You've never taken a puck to the face. <laughs> well, fair enough, but I just think we should dig a little deeper. Yeah, but it doesn't get deeper than the basic urge to survive. Yes, so you're talking a basic human reaction to stress. Yeah, you're talking about fucking flying. I still say you're missing the point I was trying to make. Adam, let it go. OK. But next week when we do Dracula, I am not backing down. That was you backing down. Fair doubt most of my disagreements with people end. Good point. I thought it was great. Mary, that's the most I've ever seen you talk in book chat. Well, do it perfect together. Uh, Tyler, we're late for dinner. Oh, um, I was going to ask you guys if you wanted to go grab some. Oh, a weekly dinner at our parents' house. You're welcome to come. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. It really, it's just the four of us, family thing. They'll love it. I mean, Dad's a huge hockey fan, and Mom always cooks too much. It's perfect. Come on. Seriously, these two were fantastic together. You guys are going to love the podcast. Well, I think it's great you're trying new things in the store, honey. Don't you think so, Paul? Mm, I don't know. There's something to be said for tried and true. Maybe there's room for both. You know, I was thinking... Maybe we could add some sort of a refreshment station somewhere where people could get water or coffee. That sounds wonderful. Mm. That sounds unbelievable. I am open to new ideas. <laughs> I am! <laughs> sure. <laughs> You're pretty quiet, Adam. I'm just enjoying this. It's like watching a really good play. So family dinners weren't like this when you were growing up? No. No, I grew up in the foster care system, so I was always bouncing from place to place. I, I didn't know that. That wasn't a big deal. There was this one family that was really into hockey, so ultimately it was a good thing. That's wonderful. Oh. You should be really proud of all that you've accomplished, Adam. You know what I'd be really proud about? Is finishing more of these potatoes. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> How's things going with the team? We're still on the team, so I'm taking that as a victory. Right. How's working with my sister? Great. Yeah, just peachy. It's OK, Adam. I love her, but it can be frustrating dealing with someone who can always find a book to prove she's right and you're wrong. Yes, what is up with the book? I don't know. I have to ask my dad. There's a picture of her in a crib holding a copy of Little Women. So she started early, huh? Yep. Smartest person I know. Except for when it comes to relationships. Meaning? None of them could hold up to the heroes in her books. You invited him home for dinner? Tyler invited him. But it ended up being kind of OK. A lot of high praise coming from you. You're starting to like him. I am not. Well, not in the way that the local paper is inferring. Anyway, I didn't mean it that way. You are spending a lot of time together. Making each other nuts. Some might call that passion. Some shouldn't call it that because they're wrong. I think you guys are good for each other. I'm not talking about it just from the PR perspective. Janet, this is all about the bookstore for me. All right, now look, sales are up, but they are nowhere near what they need to be. Patience. Trust in me, trust in the process. Everything will be fine. A little more practice, she'll be ready for the big news. I can't believe we get to practice here today. I told my mom I want to be a hockey player like you. Oh, yeah? What'd she say? Nothing. She's closed her eyes and put her hand on her face. OK. What about your dad? He moved to California. Well, I think it's great that you want to be a hockey player. But maybe you should tell your mom you want to be more like Wayne Gretzky. Who's Wayne Gretzky? 
Why does everyone keep doing that? Who's Wayne Gretzky? Thanks for helping today. Of course. So where was everyone? The photographers, Mary? This is off the books. It's a good group of kids. I like helping, so I've been doing some extra coaching here and there. Well, that is very... Grown up, I mean. I have my moments. I oh, need you back on the team. I haven't been able to get it together since you left. You've won three of the last five games. We should have won all five. We had a big game on the road tomorrow, and I wish you were going to be there with us. I still have to do my penance. <laughs> Things with Mary getting any better? She's not so bad, I guess. Well, for you, that means you like her. Does not. Hey, from what you told me, she is exactly what you need. Somebody who stands up to you. I don't think that's what I need. But even if I did, she's made it pretty clear that she wants nothing to do with me or my world. Well, have you shown her your world? Sarah, thank you so much for having us over to watch the game. Oh, hey, I love the company. I get so nervous watching these guys play on the road. Ah! What happened? The other team just scored. What do we say when the other team scores? Yeah. Ooh, that's right. They should make the puck bigger so you can see it better on TV. That is a great idea. I'll take your suggestions to the league. <laughs> OK, bud, come on, bath time. No! Yeah, you can watch the rest of the game later, OK? Otherwise, the claw will get you. He's going to get you. Come on. You guys need anything? Oh, we're good. I'm I'm good. Are you good? Yeah. I'm good. OK, I'll be back in a bit. Thanks for coming today. I know hockey isn't your cup of tea. Well, Sarah and Graham are great. And this hockey business is growing on me. Careful. Soon you'll be a fanatic like me. You really miss it, don't you? Yeah, I really do. It's my whole life. Is that stupid? Well, if it's your whole life, then getting kicked off the team, probably not your best, Mo. Good point. Mm. I suppose I should learn something from all this. Like what? Can I get back to you on that? Well, what I've learned is that I am not clear on all the rules of this game. Sometimes the best way to learn is by doing. This is not what I had in mind. You were the one who said you were open to new ideas. to work on your stopping skills, but not bad. I just skated 10 feet. I think it's a little bit early for not bad. What if I fall down a lot? You're wearing enough protective gear to cushion a fall from space. Besides, it doesn't matter how many times you fall down. It only matters how many times you get back up again. Sounds like something my dad would say. <laughs> yeah, because he's awesome. Now let's work on how you're holding that stick. Yes. Let's put your right hand at the top of the stick, like this. Yep, bring the stick out in front of you. OK, there you go, yep. And left hand halfway down. Perfect. Square yourself up to this puck. So the puck should be at 9 o'clock. Bring yourself forward. Yep, further. A little more. Nice and square. Now, bring your stick back. Not too far. And when you bring it forward, make sure you make contact with the ice first before you hit the puck. Before? Yeah, that way you get in full power of the shot. Try it. Okay. Before? Before.
idea for the anniversary. What about doing a live version of the podcast? Live? You mean in front of people? We do it in front of people now. Well, maybe 10 at the most. There's going to be way more than that at the party. You are going to be fine. Oh, and I saw this, and I want you two to do it. Box race? Mm-hmm. I just don't see how decorating a box and sliding down a hill is going to help us. It'll show you're an active member of the community. Sounds dangerous. Sounds like fun to me. Says the guy who runs around in sharp metal shoes slamming into people. Really? A lot. That's your view of hockey, even after hitting the ass with me last night? What's this? It's probably the same thing. Oh, you were a natural. I'm sure there's some hidden sledding talents in there as well. They would be well hidden. You're impossible. You're intractable. <sighs> it shouldn't be this difficult to come up with a theme. Well, it has to be amazing. I want to win this thing. You are obsessed with winning. Oh, please. You're the most competitive person I've ever met. I am not competitive. <sighs> At least not about winning, anyway. I think I just like to be... The and... smartest person in the room. Are you calling me a snob again? No, most of the time you probably are the smartest person in the room. That's not being a snob, that's just being right. Yes, well, sometimes being right does come at the expense of being liked. <laughs> well, I'm very familiar with not being liked. Oh, please. You have fans, friends, relationships. Not ones that have lasted. Yes, but you don't really strike me as a settling down type. I don't know. If the right person were to come along. Ah, uh, yes. The elusive right person. Hmm. You haven't found yours yet either, huh? Have you ever read a book that was so good you just didn't ever want it to end? Guess I've just never really met a person who made me feel the same way. There's nothing wrong with waiting for the right boat to come along. At least I don't think so. Yes, well, you get hit in the head a lot, so can we trust your opinion? Okay. So, Miss Competitive, what are we gonna do to win this adventure? Adventure. Tom Sawyer. A raft. A raft. Sleds are incredible. Oh, and yours is fantastic. Right? Ta -da. This hill looks pretty icy. Yeah. Mary, are you sure you're up for this? Not thinking about it. That's a cardboard box on a snow covered hill. Even if we fall off, I'm sure we'll survive it. And on that happy note, off to see your photographer. Okay. We don't have to do this if you're scared. I'm not scared. A little bit scared. Think about something else. Tell me what your future holds. Right. I want the bookstore to be a success, obviously, and I want to travel. You know, just want to go to Paris or Bali or... I miss being on the road. I don't do well if I'm in the same place for too long. Is that why you changed teams so many times? That and the owners of those teams wanted me to be somewhere else. Ah. You know, chicken, egg. Right. Yeah. But... Maybe you were just breaking up with them before they could break up with you. Hmm. Maybe. So what else is in your future? Marriage, children, white picket fence? I guess that's the idea, yeah. What about you? Sometimes I wonder what it would be like to have a son or a daughter and I could teach how to skate, make sure they have a good home, good family, be a good dad. To be a great dad. Think so? Yeah. I mean, you're a big kid. You'd have someone to play with. <laughs> See? You were almost nice to me there. It was close. Hey, Adam. I'm getting good at that shot you showed me at practice. That's great. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Practice? Oh, yeah. I've been helping out a little bit with the team. Well, he's been helping a lot with the team. I think we might win the next game. Cool sled. Thanks, Noah. Which one's yours? Oh. I'm not doing it this year. Mom didn't have time to make one. You know, Noah, Mary, she's a little bit scared to ride down this hill. It's very icy. So, 
Maybe you could ride with us, help Mary beat Not So Scared. Really? That'd be awesome. Did you bring your helmet? <laughs> Everybody ready? Oh, yeah. Pretty fast. They're going very fast. Are you guys okay? today. Thank you. I did too. So did Noah. It's really nice what you did. Oh, I'm glad. I know what it's like not to have a dad around to do those things with. <sighs> well, I should call a cab. Night. <laughs> What are you doing here? Looking for you. Oh, what don't I do now? I haven't seen you on the ice for the past few days. Even though you're suspended, you should still be practicing. I know. Look, I've just been a little wrapped up with this whole image rehab thing. Yes, Janet sent me the photos of the box sled race. You know, you shouldn't be doing stuff like that. If you get injured... Oh, come on. I take harder hits than that just getting out of bed in the morning. Still. It looked like you were having fun. Yeah, we were. I mean, that's okay, right? Of course, that's okay. Come on, Erica. I'm trying really hard here. I know. I know you are. And I appreciate it. You're taking this seriously. It looks good on you. It looks weird on me. It... It makes me wonder if things might have ended differently for us. What? You mean if I would have taken things more seriously back then? And I would have taken things less seriously? So, what have we worked out if we were totally different people? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Is that something we should think more about? I don't think that's a good idea. Because of Mary? No. Because of me. I'm trying to be a better guy for a lot of reasons. One of them is so my boss doesn't fire me. I think dating her would be a really, really good way of blowing that up. You're probably right. Yeah. Hug it out. Why not? say so yourself. Well, just look at all the good press the two of you have gotten. People are starting to love you. Mary, aren't you starting to love him? Am I? No. What do you mean? I mean, we wanted to improve Adam's image and get more business for the bookstore, and we were doing both. Oh. Even Erica's starting to come around. I mean, get the suspension lifted. That's amazing. Mary, isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Yes. What? No. Adam getting his job back isn't amazing? Oh, yes. That's, yes, that's good. That's really good. Hey, what's up with you today? Look, I'm happy that this is going so well for Adam. I really am, but we have a long way to go with the bookstore. Business is up, isn't it? It is, but... Not by enough. 
Well, that's why we're making the 40th anniversary party this Saturday such a blowout. We're talking the live podcast, games, food. We still could use a showcase idea, but I think it's going to be a huge success. But aren't we worried about it just being temporary? I mean, we could sell a ton of books that day, but how do we make it last? Sales aren't the only thing that we're going for. You want to build your customer base. Mailing list signups, podcast downloads, social media hits. Hashtag OTSB40. On the same page, 40th. I bet that's great. It is, but what? I was up late last night. I just couldn't sleep, so I was going over the numbers. And if this party doesn't work, if it isn't a huge success, we have to close this door. So how come you didn't tell me how bad things are at the store? You have your own problems. I didn't, I didn't know if you care. Of course I care. I mean, we're in this together, aren't we? It's embarrassing. Oh, come on. A few days ago, you were flinging yourself down a hill. That person doesn't get embarrassed. Yeah, but that person is also elusive. You know, she's not always there when you need her. We're going to figure this out. Our number one mission is to make sure the anniversary party is a huge success. But well, what about getting you back on the team? Mm -hmm. That'll happen. I'm not worried. Erica's coming around. Yeah? You guys are getting along? Eh, yeah, sort of. Let's just say I don't feel the need to search our hands for weapons when we meet anymore. Check my hands? Constantly. I'm a little nervous about that staple. You should be. Don't think there's a safety. Why don't you and I go for dinner tonight? We can try to come up with that showcase idea and talk about the live podcast. You're not still nervous about doing that, are you? Get up in front of dozens of strangers. You just talk? No. Why would I be nervous? The only thing that makes it even a little bit okay is knowing that you and, and Tyler are going to be up there with me. I promise. We'll come up with something brilliant. So, dinner? Yeah. That would be... That would be great. All right. You're going out for dinner with her? I thought you said you didn't like her. I don't not like her. It just drives me crazy. Oh, here we go. What? That's even worse than saying she's not that bad, and I've heard you say those exact words before. So what usually comes next is a completely unhealthy relationship with someone you definitely shouldn't be with, and then it ends in yelling and in tears. A lot of tears. That's not true. Victoria, Danielle. OK, well, maybe I've changed. You're the one who keeps telling me to grow up. That doesn't happen overnight, unless Unless she is your soulmate and she's performed a miracle on you. Is that what happened? It's just a dinner. We're just going to talk about the anniversary party. It's totally innocent. Uh, I've heard those words before, too. Erica. No, Erica was different. Oh, Erica, right behind you. Adam, can I see you in my office? Now? I've got a dinner meeting. Yes, it's important. OK. Just let me make a quick call and change first. I'm sure it's fine. Hello? Mary, hi. It's Adam. Oh, hi. Are you on your way? Uh, no. I just got called into a meeting with Erica. Erica? Is everything okay? I don't know, but I'm not sure how long it's going to take, so I didn't want to leave you hanging. Oh, uh, all right. Well, um, don't worry about it. We can, we can just do it another night. We don't need to cancel, just... Yeah. It's not a big deal. It's, it's fine. Well, okay. I'm really sorry. We'll talk tomorrow? Of course. I wanted to talk to you about getting you back on the team. Really? Really. Erica, that's amazing. It's fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Don't get too excited. There are a few conditions. Name them. It's probationary. One wrong step, and you have to serve out the rest of your suspension. Got it. Walk in the straight and narrow. It's a deal. And we are throwing a party for the VIP ticket holders. 
The press will be there. So will my father. You'll have to get up in front of all those people and apologize for your behavior. Easy. Sorry, I'm a jerk. Done. Adam, you have to take this seriously. You need to eat a little crow, and then we'll get you back on the team. I can do that. We can take it serious, I promise. When is it? Saturday. Wait, this Saturday? Mm -hmm. I can't. That's the night of the bookstore's 40th anniversary. Well, you'll have to miss it. I can't. I'm emceeing the auction. I'm signing autographs. I'm doing a live book chat with Mary. Adam, what's more important to you, this bookstore or your career? We'll see you Saturday. excited about the, the party Saturday night. Yeah. It's gonna be great for the big bookstore. Mm, I, I hope so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is it? What do you mean? You haven't said more than 10 words. Usually you've said more than 10 words before you come in the door. You're, you're right, I have had a lot on my mind, but Okay, Tyler, spill. No, no, we don't need to drag me into this. Hey, it's a family dinner. You were dragged into it by being born. <sighs> the truth is there is a lot riding on this uh, anniversary party. If it doesn't work, we, we will have to close the store. Oh, oh sweet Mary, th this is not your fault. Uh, the, the store was struggling when we retired. We, we, we even thought about closing it to, to save you from having to deal with the responsibility. Honey, we knew it was going to happen at some point. But I didn't. On the same page is not just a responsibility. It's our family. No, no, this is our family right here, and we will be here even if the bookstore isn't, sweetheart. So you're not mad? <laughs> How could we be mad at you? Well, we're not done trying yet. And the anniversary party can still work. Yeah, and Adam's helping out, right? I don't want to have to count on him. Tried to call her. Oh, yeah, no, she went down to City Hall to get the permit for tomorrow night's Winterfest party. Well, uh, when you see her, will you let her know I really need to talk to her, please? Sure. Thanks. Adam, you've come a long way, you know. How so? Well, you faced a lot of challenges in your life. You're a good man, and you've made such a positive impact on Mary. This bookstore, this is her entire world. Has been since she was a little kid. And sometimes she forgets there's a whole other world out there. But these last few weeks, she's been out having fun, taking chances. Yeah, but a lot of the stuff we did was because Janet told us to. And you had no say in the matter, huh? Come on, Adam. Mary wouldn't have done all those things if she didn't want to. And she certainly wouldn't have done it alone. You have made an impact, son, whether you intended to or not. You're pretty good with the impact yourself. Yeah, and I do it without a helmet. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. <laughs> okay. So, 
I watched the game on TV last night. I think it's possible that the number 16 is not getting enough contact with the ice before he shoots. Now you're a hockey expert? I think I bring a fresh academic perspective, yes. Because that's what you want when you've got a bunch of huge guys coming at you as an academic perspective. Well, I think there's room for a lot more than hit with stick now. You're impossible. You're intractable. <laughs> Why did you ask me to meet you here? This place. It's my home. And I've really missed it, but... What? But what? How was it? The team is hosting a big VIP event, and they want me to attend as a condition for taking me back. It's great. What's the problem? It's tomorrow night. You have to do it. What about the anniversary party? Adam, it's your career. It's what you've been doing all this for. I'm all over the advertising for the party. I'm a big part of the event. If I don't show... What, so now you're so important that it can't go on without you? I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to make me mad so I walk away from the party. Sometimes being a good team player means knowing when to let the other guy take the shot. Take your shot, Adam. We have sold more books tonight than we have in the past six months. But even more important, you're building a customer base right. between the must-read list and the photo shares and the podcast downloads. Mary, here's a statement I never thought I'd say. Mm. You're trending on social media. <laughs> what does that mean? Trust me, it's good. Okay. <laughs> hey, Miss Campbell. Oh, hey, Noah. Where's Adam? You know what? He's not gonna be able to make it tonight, I'm sorry. Oh. But hey, how about I take a picture of the two of you to send to him? I bet he'd love it. Is that okay? Okay, all right, all right. And cheese. Perfect. Where do I put my old book? Oh, just out front. And you'll get a coupon you can give to your mom for your 20% off, okay? Great, thanks. I do love the book exchange idea, though. I mean, give a book to the library, get a discount on a new one, that. It's a showcase idea. Oh, that's not the showcase idea. Adam took care of that. He was gonna tell himself tonight, but since he's not here, It's 
so nice, but I don't get it. Look on the other side. Oh. <laughs> That's lovely. So what, he had these made up for the anniversary party? No. He had 20,000 made for the Royals' next home game. On the same page is the official sponsor of the fan giveaway, and he's made sure that the bookstore will be featured throughout the game and during its telecast. That's incredibly generous. I'm still smiling. I can't feel my face. You're doing fine. No sign of the item that argues with referees. Well, I hope he's gone for good. <laughs> I hope so, too. <laughs> I'm getting positive feedback. My father is pleased. That's how your father looks when he's pleased? Yeah. Made report card time very confusing as a kid. <laughs> circulate. Go circulate. Right. Thank you for being here. Of course. Part of being a team player. <laughs> Pretty impressive. We're gonna start the book chat shortly. You ready? I'm nervous. What do I always tell you? You're not nervous, you care. You're right. Right. I care a lot. But you know, there's also a part of me that kind of can't wait to get out there, and I can do this. I think I'm gonna leave this one. What? <laughs> who are you, and what have you done with my sister? Huh. I'll tell you who she is. She's somebody who should be very proud of what she's accomplished. Dad. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. You know, I think on the same page just might make it after all. I'm not talking about the store. I'd like to introduce one of our best players, and certainly one of our most colorful. But he's worked hard in the last month, and I think you've seen the results of that in the press. I personally have seen how he's changed for the better. Ladies and gentlemen, Adam Claiborne. Thank you, everyone, for coming out to support the 40th anniversary of On the Same Page. I am thrilled to introduce one of the owners and the driving force behind why we're all here tonight, Mary Campbell. There are a bunch of things I'm sorry about. My past behavior is one. Um, it affected the team and my overall image within the community. I'm doing my best to fix that. On the same page has been here for 40 years. <laughs> I must say, I'm realizing that being part of a community, being part of a team, it's, it's about more than just being present. I'm proud of this team. And I'm proud to be a member of it. I think I forgot for a while what real teamwork looked like. I always say that the entire world is right there in that bookstore. And sometimes I think I do forget that the entire world is out there too. Erica said that she thinks I've changed for the better. I hope that's true. I think it is. As much as I love this game, I've realized now it's also really important. So please excuse me, but I have to go get it. Adam! If you leave, I don't know if my father will forgive you. If I don't leave, I won't be able to forgive myself. You're risking your entire career. 
I hope that I'll be able to prove to some other team that I am that better person I've been trying to be. That is, if I can't convince you first. Let's talk about this Monday. You're gonna be late. For the record, you broke up with me. Thank you. I have been having the close to home kind of adventures. They haven't all gone well. But as someone very smart once told me, doesn't matter how many times you fall down. It only matters how many times you get back up again. It is in that spirit of adventure that I would like to kick off tonight's book chat. How many of you have read The Adventures of Tom Sawyer? Oh, good. I'm so glad because this is one of my very favorite books. You say that about every book. Here. You just came to chat about a book. But what about getting back on the team and... Maybe it's time I start thinking about what's next. Because apparently I come up with really incredible business ideas. <laughs> really? I'm quite good at it. Mm. In fact, most of this party here was my idea. <laughs> Why don't we just talk about the book? That's a great idea. Because this is a story I don't want to end. Me neither.